Gold Ranger Morpher. Still in the original condition. But yeah, that comes out of there. Okay, so this does actually work. Um, apparently, um, the batteries in this are still working, but uh, one of them had come loose inside since the last time I looked at it. So, um, you kind of got to be careful with this one. These are missing stickers that are supposed to be on here. Focus. But that works fine. I think the spring in this would be worn out with as many times as I've done this. But nope, it still works. And this. So yeah, and this band is not the original band that came with this. Because you can see the zigzag pattern on it. It's from a um, Lost Galaxy Magna Defender Morpher. But um, half of that is missing. So I'm not even going to try to sell it. And this needed a armband, so I just took the armband off of the one that I did have and stuck it on here. These two I'm selling together. This one, the electronics do not work. We've put new batteries in it, and it still does nothing. And yes, I know there's a switch right here, but even if I turn that on nothing so yeah this is pretty much just for show now since none of the electronics work this one however This one still works perfectly and all the stickers are I should have showed you this one too even though you can't really do anything with it since the electronics don't work but the sticker showing you all the codes for this is still in the back here all, all the prices for these are listed on TFW 2005 and this one has a uh, switch here First time that worked for me every time. It does that when you're not pointing at anything. And there's this other button here. And that one's the same no matter what you point at. Yeah, this can be a little tricky sometimes. If it's not pointed directly at it, if it's off just a little bit, it will not work. I hate vlogs! And look what I'm doing. It won't be when you're watching this, but at the time I'm filming this, it's January, Friday the 13th, and I'm walking through a cemetery. Remember that skeleton with the tree? Well... Now I guess it's a ghost rider. Look at that, ancient outdated technology. So, the basic story behind what happened during the me talking about the Avengers Super Bowl trailer. What happened there is some guy came up to me while I was filming and started asking for the tape because he claimed I was filming his house. If you watch that video, 
all that's in the background behind me is trees. So unless that guy lives in a tree, I wasn't filming his house. But instead of trying to argue with him about it, I told him I can show him the playback and if he sees his house in the video, then I'll delete it. But he didn't want to watch the video. He didn't have any confirmation that I was even filming his house. He just insisted that I was without trying to back it up. And um, eventually, at one point, he actually said, why would I delete the video if I wasn't filming his house? And my thinking was, why would I give you the uh, memory card for my camera if I wasn't filming your house. That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> and I can't afford to buy another memory card. Luckily there's nothing on the camera ex except for one other video. So I wouldn't have lost much. But still I wouldn't have been able to record anything. So, unless he wanted to prove that I actually filmed his house, which I didn't, or pay me for the SIM card, then that wasn't going to happen. So he eventually just left, and then I took a walk so I could try to calm down from that little encounter, and then came back over here. And filmed on this bench here where I usually film because apparently over there he thinks I'm filming his house you know there's nothing but trees in the background yeah I don't know who this guy is I mean just that alone why would I want to film his house and even if I did know who he was, I still wouldn't want to film his house. <laughs> There's no reason for me to do that. And if I knew who he was, I still wouldn't say who he was because there's no point in me, like, calling him out. He knows who he is. I don't need to say it to a bunch of random people on YouTube. So, dude who mysteriously came up to me and demanded a tape for a camera that is digital, there's no house. There's just trees. So, leave me the hell alone. I've had people show up in my videos for real before. I asked them. Uh, you know, I'm filming here. Um, is it okay if I still use this footage or would you like to be cut out? And they'll tell me to cut them out and then I just don't show them. I don't talk about them because they were actually cool about it. But this guy, just the way he came up to me and demanded without any proof that I was actually doing anything wrong, That's the only reason I got annoyed with this guy. Because if he actually would watch the video and point out where his house was, and if his house actually was in the video, then I would delete it. I wouldn't have a problem with that. But to just demand the tape with no proof of anything? No. I'm not going for that. Yeah, I really hate vlogs.